Hi, this is BB. Um, it's the third, like about nine o'clock. And I'm having like a heated argument with the people in my head. Now, there's a, a bunch of them. How this works um, is like, one of them is, uh, has a, uh, likes to gas people, like to spray people, like to gas people. And this person is waiting from like a, like some kind of direction from the rest of them. One of them, I guess, facilitates these illegal, what I call cockfighting things. It's like people who, who are sociopaths, psychopaths. They like when teenagers cut themselves. They like when teenagers harm themselves. You know, it's like they're going for the younger demographic because there's an innocence to them. Not to mention pedophiles like younger children. This is why they're pedophiles to begin with. They like younger children. It's like the innocence, they want to rip it out of them if they can. If they could reach in and find that part where there's innocence, they could just grab it and rip it out of them, they would. And if they could eat it, they would. They want to rip it out. This is what they, this is what they do. Then there's another one. I think they, they, they set up these things. But it might be the people in California who do this and these people here are just acting it out. They're, 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 they're like the players in the show. The, the ticket takers, the ones who are selling tickets, probably is in California. That might be the Hispanic people. The, tick, the, the actual players, is, it would be here. Because you will find several sets of people. One, two, three, maybe three or four groups. That's to get, if there is an investigation, should something go sour, that it's not, they're not related to each other. That there's a disconnection. You, if you search them, you're not going to find anything on toward. You will find most of them have jobs and they make money. Then they might say, well, they're investing a bit. Bitcoin was one thing, I noticed. Bitcoin was like $45,000 in 2020. And uh, somebody had said the Hispanic guy was investing in Bitcoin. He had six trust funds. I don't know. And this is not because I hacked, because somebody who was actually supposedly investigating that did this. This again was out of my hand. As he said it was out of his hand. I think he got set up. This is what they do. They get you to say things. They set you up to say things. They know things about you, like your pet peeves, your, um, if you're racist, if you're, uh, uh, you like certain pornography, if you like, so, you know, they get you to say things to incriminate you, to make you feel like, well, your whole life will get turned upside down. Your whole life is going to be messed up that they've got you now, ha ha. Now, can you imagine them doing that to a child? What would happen? Children don't have that kind of filter. Children, is, they're concerned with how their friends see them. Ch children have temper tantrums and they do, they do bad things. And these people want them to hurt themselves. Now, another thing is the Bitcoin I talked about, is the Bitcoin. Bitcoin was, was, was 45,000 something, then it dropped down to almost 10,000 or 15,000. You're going to watch and see. The Bitcoin is going to go jack right up to maybe like close to 80,000. That's when they accumulate the amass a most certain amount of money and they invest it. They're going to say, well, no, they're multimillionaires. What they're doing is, is, is facilitating illegal cockfighting, which is people pitting them against each other. These things are illegal. They're highly illegal. Because they're ending up in people dying and people getting maimed and hurt for life. These people don't care. All they want is the almighty dollar. Being able to manipulate people to this extent is like a thrill ride, like a power for them. They feel powerful. They have no conscience anymore. They're addicted to doing this. It's like an addiction with them. They're addicted to doing it. All these things that have been happening to me, these people did not acquire these tools just for the sole purpose of hounding me. They've been doing this for a while. This, I'm sure, is not their first rodeo. They would have stopped a long time ago. The sheer repulsion of what they're doing. They've been practicing for a while. Those stamps are also worth a lot. I think that that might have a, a, a kick or to it. 
is that they feel they've arrived financially. One of the things they want to hold on to those stamps for, because the stamps are, is legal money. They don't have to hide that. They can say, well, they stole it. Uh, like I said, there's a, there's a Guyanese man, I can hear his voice. And I think two younger ones, but I don't know if they're girls or boys or what, in, in the mix-up. The kids are cruel as shit. I don't know if they're kids, how, if they're over 18, if they're teenagers. Well, they have to because they sound like they're younger. Well, at least mentally they're younger, unless it's, a, it's, a, it's just a charade. But the mere fact that they would have a kid, it just shows to show you that they don't care. They will manipulate anyone and use anyone to get what they want. And they'll make the kids feel that they're very important to this. That this cannot be accomplished without them. They are seasoned in this. They know how to manipulate people. They will give them gifts. They will give them things. They will talk to them and make them, make them feel like they're the only valuable members of this whole thing. The only valuable members of this whole thing. See the color? The color change. The color changed there for a minute. I don't know. But what happens here is like the, uh, they, they will make them feel like they're valuable. Now, these are kids. This will go to their heads. They feel needed. They feel wanted. They feel like the adults are going to take care of them. They're on a thrill ride of their own. They will say stupid shit. They will do stupid shit. They will just harass you. They'll climb in your window. They'll fuck with your food. They'll do all kinds of things because kids' bodies are smaller. They can fit in crevices. It's not just happening to me. It's happening to other people. That's one of the things they said. It's, it's uh, the, the FBI agents that I was actually supposedly texting. He said, that's one of my teenagers. Like when I thought somebody jumped over the back, of my fe back fence next to my house. He said it's one of his teenagers. I didn't know the FBI employed teenagers. I guess they did. He said it's one of his teenagers. I don't know. But with that being said, it's like I just can't take it anymore. Because there's, it's almost like I'm, I'm thinking if I was a teenager, this ganging up on me, it would have led me to do something drastic. These people have no scruples. They have no morals. They have nothing. They're not human anymore. Whatever this game is, it gets them off. The fact that they can almost get in your head and just talk to you. It's like, it's like imagine a bunch of kids, devious kids in a candy store. There are a bunch of devious kids in a candy store. And this is what they do. They've got no scruples, no morals, no filters, no nothing. They're like kids themselves. It makes you wonder what they're doing. One of the things they're looking for is that adrenochrome because it, it, like, it gives like the fountain of youth, they call it. It makes them feel like they're flying high, like they have wings or they can get in your head. It's almost like being, physic being possessed while you're a lot awake by somebody else. How they're doing it, I don't know. I know they're hacking and they're watching. And they're hacking your magnetic force, your energy around you. They're hacking that as well. Because energy is very, very real, very, very strong, very, very potent. This is why I highly encourage keeping your spirits up, even in the darkest of emotional distress. Keep your spirits up. Because this one thing I noticed, the theme of them is to keep us down. It's easier for them to get to us, to rile us up, to make us angry, and it causes stroke, heart attack, aneurysms. They want us incapacitated. I don't know if people pay them for this. We would be the ones with money that they stole. We would be the ones with money that they stole from. The rest, they will just toss them like garbage. Eventually, they toss us too, but they don't want us coming back to fight for our inheritance because we know what we have. They know what we have. We know what we have and we will identify it. But the thing is, I'm just thinking, if I were a teenager, this would be really bad. What does the one do? I don't know. Like they want people to hurt themselves. It, it, it gives uh, a sociopath. Now, they could be, again, it's like you're in your head, right? You're not schizophrenic, it's a real person. It's almost like a psychic, but the person is actually there in your head. 
Like they're, it's not, they're not literally, they haven't shrunk and crawl in your ear or your nose or your mouth or your eyes. But it's your energetic field. How does a psychic read for another person? They see pictures based on the person they have in front of them or the person that they're connecting with. Because they're tapping into that person's energy, energetic magnetic field. They're tapping into it. And this is what this is this is how they know they get answers because they can see what's happening with the person. Past, present, and future. These are not psychics. These are like they're just doing, they're just tapping into people's magnetic field. They found a way how to do this. Now I don't know if how they can be there physically. Unless they have con they, they contact people who live around these people in different states and they're paying these people to either put something near their house or put something in their food or their water that they're able to connect with. Uh, or, or how, I don't know how they do it, right? I, I'm not sure how they do it. That's the part I don't understand. I'm not sure how they do it. I, I need to know, like, is how are they doing it? Are they using something physical to tap in? I don't know. And is it dangerous? Of course, it's dangerous because your brains are being, your brain is being fried. You, you, you feel like somebody has a, a, has a hot iron and is plastering it against your skull. Like, it feels like a big scab. Like I mentioned, two days ago, I went to the doctor. Well, not two days ago, last Friday. And, um... Drug test came up negative, but my nose is red and raw inside. How? I don't know. I, I, I'm smelling something all the time. Right now, I'm smelling something. It's a thrill ride. They get a thrill out of hurting people. To them, this is a joke. It's fun. And these are grown people. These are not kids. I think this is why another reason why they keep the kids around so they can they can like tap into their energy and become almost like a kid again, a nasty devious kid with no filter. Except the same, but it's the same thing. They act like they have no accountability and responsibility. They act like kids anyway, so that would make perfect sense. But anyway, pay attention to your kids. If you hear them talking to themselves, find out what they're saying. And try to make a note of it. And you got to watch them like a hawk. Ask them if any is telling them to hurt themselves. Or hurt anyone else. Another thing to watch for is child pornography. They're big into that as well. So until next time. Take care. And stay strong.